Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim. Uh, today we're going to talk about a fun thing. Uh, one of the, the fun activities that we kind of did that you might want to do in your classroom, but it just kind of uh, ended up being a, a thing that we did for one of the national shows. I don't know if any of you are familiar with NSTA. It's a national education show. This year it was in March in Chicago. So what we did, we, we were trying to think of an activity that uh, teachers and students and people that were at the show could do in the booth that was interactive. So we came up with the idea of doing soccer. So what we did was we created a little bit of a soccer field, about four by eight. You could do this different sizes for your classroom. And then we created uh, robots um, that were remote control because they, the, our kits, our starter kits come with remote control right out of the box. So we created two different soccer bots. Uh, we created a goal that was out of our prime material. And then we gave the robots, as you can see, a little bit of flavor. So um, this is, again, something that you could do in your classroom. Uh, we'll have a little bit of fun with an artistic type of a flavor. But you can see we, we basically have a robot underneath this. And it doesn't have to be really complicated. But um, it gives you just the idea of a very fun, very simple robot that you can do. You take a ball of any size or shape, as long as it kind of fits inside the gripper there. And uh, then you can drive around and um, uh, actually play a little bit of a two-on-two -two or one-on-one -on -one -on -one soccer game uh, within the classroom. And it makes a really fun idea. The, the kids can be very creative with their um, add-ons to this. And you can see that we just have this Velcroed on to give the robots a little bit more personality and um, make it a little bit more of a fun type of thing. But it um, gives the kids a little bit of a way to be competitive. Um, it teaches them some things about engineering with their robots as far as how we make a robot mobile and active and fast and agile, those type of things. Things that are important in a soccer game. Um, and again, you can do that on different scales. We have one from Prime. We also have one that we did, as you can see, I'll pull this off to kind of give a little bit of the, the uh, underpinnings. Velcro works really good. But you can see we, we actually have, I mean, this one, uh, a Max robot that is uh, hiding underneath the decoration. So it becomes a, a, a good uh, way of showing and demonstrating um, the ability to have fun and also learn a lot uh, as we go. So hopefully you'll, this will give you some ideas on one of the, some of the things that you might want to do in your classroom to add a little spice, add a little fun into the activities and then let the kids learn and uh, enjoy the, the robots in that way as well. So. I do want to let everyone know that uh, you can look forward to on the build section of the website that we are going to go ahead and post the actual building instructions for these different uh, robots, the Tetrix Prime robot, the Tetrix Max robot, and maybe even the goal. So that if you need a little help, uh, inspiration coming up with those designs on your own, you can actually use ours. Uh, they work uh, really well and, and that'll give you a, a starting point. And once you build ours, then maybe you have the kids uh, experiment and make changes and see what they can come up with. But look for those uh, in the coming uh, months to find the builds uh, and instructions and go from there.